Well, we're preparing for the game uh, like always, like every time. We are preparing with our uh, certain stuff that we want to show, that we want to uh, uh, manifest on the pitch. And uh, this is it. We arrived here. We know that for us it will be a very tough game against a tough opponent who is also fighting for uh, for the points. So tomorrow I expect nothing but a uh, big fight. Try so from our side we will try to do the things we are practicing, try to do the things that we uh, we are preparing every week, and try to play the way we want. So with the positivity like that, try to achieve points. Uh, already, already we have won one match. Uh, what about the what do you think about Northeast United FC? Sorry, what do I think about Northeast United FC? I think uh, even last season uh, when we faced them twice, I think that they were uh, our toughest games because I think the Northeast is a very tough opponent. I think that now the reality, uh, looking at the ranking, and uh, I think that's not. Uh, Realistic picture, but in the football, that's that's the way it is. I think that the Northeast played very good first game against Bengaluru. I think that the the goal they scored in the last minute was uh, was clear. I think there was no offside, and maybe that was the moment that just like uh, uh, broke the confidence. But I think it's a very good team, very strong twin team with the strong individuals, with a good coach, and uh, I think that it deserve to be a uh, higher on the, on the table. If any centers on your team, yeah. No, everybody, uh, everybody is available. Everybody's here, so uh, uh, we have available team. We have a full squad here, so everybody's ready for the game tomorrow. Anyone was injured? No, no, we have no injuries uh, so far. There was a small issue with uh, one of our foreign players in the last two games, but he recovered. He's with us now. Uh, what about taking Guwahati? Well, I think that. Uh, it's good ground with a good crowd, you know. Like for us, for Kerala Blasters, it's always uh, every game is difficult. Playing home or away, we always play in front of a huge crowd. So for us, it will be an interesting game tomorrow. Thank you, coach. Thank you. What happened to Kerala Blasters after the first match? Well, you know, in, in football, you have to try to keep the momentum. You know, I think we played uh, even. Uh, if you look all the four games, I think that in all four games we showed some quality. We showed after first uh, first game where we won, uh, we deserved to win, and then in the, in the next games we showed the way we wanted to play with the high pressing, with many moments that we wanted to uh, to uh, explore on the pitch. And you know that sometimes when you make uh, individual mistakes, which uh, cracks you down during the game, it affects the result. And uh, from our side, I think even the last game where we conceded too easy like we say, cheap goals in the first half. And then uh, in the second half, we actually responded the way we wanted to play, creating many chances and uh, actually uh, we had to score a couple of goals. But you know, in football, you have to deserve the luck. You have to deserve those moments. Uh, of course, we are not happy with the current result, especially three last games, three defeats. But we have to st uh, stick together, stay positive and try to play the way we want to play. You know, we want to be offensive team, we want to be aggressive team. And actually, we lost that momentum. I think that we uh, we all are uh, realistic and uh, aware of that. We have to stay quiet. We have to work hard because, as a Kerala Blasters, you always have to work hard for the points. So I think that we will uh, try to switch those moments now and uh, start collecting points. Actually, fans want to take to return to the winning time. What is it? Yeah, but it, I think that we are the, even the first who want to do that, you know, because every game, whether we play home or away, we want to win. So that's that's our goal. And we always go on the pitch with the, with the idea to win the game, how to approach, how to start, how to press, how to attack, how to defend. And we are the first one. Our mind is always to win, especially with the fans. When we lose, we are sorry for them. When we win, we are happy for them. So this is the way we will continue. Are you considering any strategical change in the next match? Uh, yes and no, because many. Uh, I like the fact that uh, a lot of players they show that uh, passion, and uh, they show the fact that they are not happy with the current result, and they want to give it back on the pitch. They want to show that it was a bad momentum, and they want to stop that bad momentum. So I like that fact. I like the passion and energy they show. And with the commitment we have as a team to each other, you know, I think that we are capable of uh, starting collecting points.
what should be the um, key focus to well, uh, the way we want to play, aggressive uh, with high pressure, attacking football when we defend, how to defend together, when we attack, how to attack together. All these things what we want to see and uh, the way we want to play to achieve the points like that. So this is what Carabao Blasters want this season. Uh, you started last game, uh, you know, first in the season. So how do you feel that, you know, like, uh, how she's starting for the team in the first set? Uh, feel good to start for sure for every player they like to play but it depends on also you know how you fit in the team like you know and uh, you always have to fight hard to be in the team other person there are every day there is competition inside the team so you know it's about every day fighting and end of the day you know when you get a chance you need to prove sometimes and also listen to coach and how he wants the team to play and also depend on that happy to play but then it's not about playing it's about winning you know I can play and lose games and not be happy about it also, I can be not play and maybe the team wins and I can be happy about it. There is two things. And after the day, we as players, we want to win as a team. That's why we are here. Every day we are training, we are putting a lot of effort. Also coaching staff, they are preparing training. It's not an easy job. Everyone need to understand that. So we as a players, like, you know, every day we are trying to give our effort. And uh, sometimes it's e so easy to judge people, like, you know, oh, you lose here. It's easy. But then there is a lot of preparation behind it. Like, you know, every day trying to be disciplined. It's not just me, like all the players. The coaching staff, everyone who works for the club, that's something everyone needs to understand. And uh, still, like I said, I, I feel uh, as a player, we are not going to give up. As a coach, he, he keeps on giving us positive, you know, positive thoughts and everything inside the field every day. And the training is really good. And uh, just to listen to him and uh, follow him, and uh, as a player, to do when we go in, give 100%. That's it. Of course, how do you consider around 10 goals in the last four matches? So, these are the uh, kind of Worrying thing for you? Well, uh, absolutely. But you know, when you are in a situation uh, that you have to run for the result, when you are 0-1 uh, or 0-2 down, then you have to take more risk. You have to attack. You want to go back in the in game. So, of course, it worries us. I think that defensively we have to be more concentrated and uh, aware of situations, especially speaking about set pieces where you have to uh, clear some situations. We must not be casual. We must be uh, aggressive. So all those things, they must fit together in one puzzle, you know. The things that we were doing, especially speaking about last year, even it's like now, it's like ancient history, but we have to start repeating those things, you know, being consistent, being disciplined in a way to, to defend all together, to not allow our opponents to, to score goals. These are the things that we have to manage back again, because uh, like Raul just said, we are all the, you know, we're all the same players, we're all the same coaches, same people, so we just have to get back and uh, in football there is only one way, stick together, work together, work hard for the result. This is the only way, we're all the, like the same people who will continue to do our best, that's for sure. Coach, not this hasn't won any matches yet, is that like giving an upper hand to our team? No, I think even that it's even more harder because uh, our next opponent for tomorrow, they actually want to get uh, first points. And I expect uh, nothing but uh, a hard game, fighting for every duel, for every ball. This is the way how it is in football. If you don't win those duels, if you did, don't win those balls, and try to use your uh, opponent's weakness uh, and uh, weak sides, then you cannot win any game. It doesn't matter if you play against the opponent who uh, has to start collecting points or playing against the team who is on top of the table. It doesn't matter. There are some certain rules you have to follow. You have to fight for every ball, for every duel, because this is how it is in ISL. These things are crucial and we must manage those things.